what's up guys welcome to bro beats today i'm gonna try to make a t grizzly type beat uh, with that being said we can get started bpm 99 this is halftime um anywhere 95 to 100 is a really good tempo so i'm gonna pop these drums and sounds up these are similar to the rising gum tutorial um a few different things we have some strings a synth bass and a piano and these same bells all right and then basically the same drums um your drums they don't really matter just the sound so i'm gonna get the drums out the way all right so right off the back we can just right click fill each two steps and we're gonna need to shrink this down actually i'm gonna do the drums on a different pattern just because i don't want to mess this up so let's go here and since this halftime i'm gonna put this kick here just so i can stay on track all right so for the let's do the clap obviously the clap is going to be the easiest part all you have to do is just put this here and we're in half time so if you're wondering why i'm not putting it making it look like this that's double time we're in half time so you have to put it on the red uh, blocks now all right and then we have our little chant um we can do that like every other part like this pretty much going to go throughout the whole song all right um let's think uh the open hat i think the open hat maybe we can well let me listen to it let's see all right so we can put one here and we just put the kick in real quick okay and then we could put one here all right so uh, we're gonna put this little orchestra hit here And let's turn this down turn these clap put the velocity up in these claps all right come back here uh, i'm gonna do the hi-hat roll later maybe when i add like some bass or something i'm gonna keep that the same for this snare we can just put a you know just a generic placement for the snare right now turn that up okay for the kick now we're gonna wanna do kind of like a thirds thing here. And you'll see that when I do the bass, cause I'll actually do it in the piano roll. Actually, yeah, you'll see it. Um, so it's gonna be something like this. I noticed this pattern pattern a lot. All right, it's gonna be a pattern like this. And then, you know, you can add to it, um, maybe some extra stuff here and turn the velocity up. And we're gonna adjust this, all right, based on our bass so this is just something to have right now so we're not completely done because we're gonna have to add kicks to the actual bass when we figure out the melody and stuff so this is what the, the drums are gonna sound like all right so now let's go to the uh we're gonna start with the piano all right now with the piano we're gonna want some we're gonna want to make it sound really realistic all right now we could go with like the Nexus piano, but I already kind of did a tutorial with that, with the rice gum. So I want to do something a little bit, you know, higher quality, I guess. So with the piano, we can go to the chords and we can, oh snap, we can kind of build a chord. All right, so um, I'm gonna click around and I have tutorials. If you don't know how to build chords and stuff, I have tutorials on that. You can check those out and come back. All right, so I'm gonna build the chord want something i'm going for something sad so you're gonna see my chords go downward all right so it's gonna that's why what i'm gonna do okay so let me just try to find something
all right so that's it for the chords you kind of saw me build that so now we're going to make it realistic or just somewhat realistic all right we're just going to get by we don't want to you know do too much we just want to get by with this so what i'm going to do is actually kind of pull these back and let me actually go a little higher just pull them back like that all right and i'm just do the same thing with the top two of each chord except for maybe these probably do you know more over here because there's more chord no more notes all right so i'm gonna pull these back and then i'm gonna start here and let's pull these so that they don't overlap all right and that that's fine that's fine all right so i want these a little closer all right so i'm gonna go a little um smaller with the steps and just bring them in All right, now we're gonna do the melody up here. So I'm gonna bring these this uh, quantization back down. And I'm just kind of just click around like I do with the chords. This, I'm not really thinking about, you know, anything like strategic. I'm just kind of doing whatever I hear, whatever I think should go on this part of the um, chord or whatever. All right, so you should do that too. I think that's the best way to make a beat is kind of just go with whatever your mind is thinking. All right, so I'm gonna just play this. All right, so now I'm going to Alt R, is it? Let's see, Alt, yeah, to randomize the velocity. And we can kind of just make it, you know, just a little bit. We don't have to do anything, you know, like this. Just a little bit, so there's a little difference, all right? And I want to pull these in a little bit because it's just kind of, it's too delayed to me. All right, so we go. All 
right, so now what I'm gonna do, all right, come on. So now we've done the blueprint for the whole entire song right now, all right? So now I'm gonna take this top part, go to edit, copy, and just copy this to the bells, all right? And then I'm just gonna quantize this whole thing, go to beat, quantize it. Oh, that's two. Let's try this one. All right. And just make sure everything's clear and let's just try some uh the not the velocity, the uh octave. Let's see, it's off. All right, come on. So that's good. Now that we have this blueprint, now we can build our strings. And this is pretty much the last part besides the bass. All right, so let's just copy this to the strings. And what I'm thinking we can do to make it really easy to, cause some people may not know, you know, how to compose music and all that stuff. So what you can just do, all right? And the point of these scales is you can just, you know, copy it. And what I'm gonna just do here is highlight you know, try to get everything, try to make everything the same size. All right, let's make sure these, and the strings are just gonna fill the background so it's not so empty. All right, and I actually wanna, might wanna go, let's see. Yeah, let's do kind of like a um, pop, a pop effect, I don't know, but something like this, all right. I think it's called a staccato or something i don't know all right so we can do something like that and that was super easy all right i probably took too much time explaining it but that was super easy all right so now we're pretty much done with the melody and i'm gonna do some extra probably put some here yeah so i'm gonna put um something here i think we're missing a note let me see are we missing a note b missing b all right let's pull this over and this will just create some bounce in the beat something like that all right nothing too crazy put something there all right now we should be good now now let's do the bass all right and i'm gonna probably already have my drums mixed and stuff so i'm, I'm gonna just mix these real quick All right, so now let's do this little synth bass. I think this is this is in all of his beats or his just songs. Um, so let's just try to do that thirds kind of um, pattern. All right, so I'm gonna just listen to this and just kind of just feel for whatever plays in my head, all right? All right, so I kind of like the bounce that that gives when the strings play, like right here, and then the bass plays right after. I kind of like that, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna probably just copy this pattern because I'm I'm not gonna sit here and click. I'm gonna probably end up just clicking the same pattern. So let's just um, let's try here.
All right, so I think that's good. Now we just copy this to the base down here. Okay. And we just find a good octave for this base. All right, let's see. And we're probably gonna have to change it around too. So actually with that kick, let's, let's cut this pattern, this kick pattern. Okay. And then let's place it here and kind of just build it around. Let's see, we don't need the 808 to be there. We could just build it, let's see. Let's try moving this. I'm just place these here and then we just click in from here and just see you know what works what doesn't work let's pull these down I wonder why I skipped in. All right, um, or on this part. So let's just do some editing. Oh, it's going lower. So let's actually just pull it up. See, I know I'm not tripping. It's it's like it's skipping or something. All right, we'll just have to deal with this. So I think that's good. All right, so the beat is pretty much done now. So I'm gonna take this, well, we can keep it on. So let's put it in the pattern and see, you know, put the beat together and then do those, uh, do those hi-hats real quick. Put the snare, we can make a new snare pattern and just kind of do something like this. All right, put this open hat snare, chant, hi-hats and this little orchestra thing now let's add some hi-hat rolls in here Do that and let's pull these up. All right, I messed something up over here. I don't know what it was. Okay. All right, that's good. So now let's just play the whole beat. All right. All right, so here we go.
all right so i think that's pretty much it that's how you make a t grizzly type beat all right so just remember you probably want a little realistic piano you can't go simple with it as well but you know if you want to be a little bit more advanced you can go with the uh you know realistic stuff and then you can just once you create your chords and stuff you can just base all your layered sounds off of there all right so yeah that's how i make a t grizzly type beat um like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace